Hi, my name is Christopher Rogers, and I'm going to be your instructor for the California State University Northridge Health Sciences 587 Introduction to Epidemiology course. This course is part of the California State University Northridge Masters of Public Health program. A little bit about me, I received my Masters in Epidemiology and then went on to finish my PhD in preventive medicine with a focus on health behavior research. I've worked both for Los Angeles County Department of Public Health, as well as private health agencies as epidemiology and data science research roles. I've also worked in academia, teaching a variety of classes, including graduate epidemiology and graduate biostatistics. Regarding this class, we're going to be covering a variety of topics related to epidemiology. And the course is going to consist of eight weeks in which we will have two exams, a series of discussion posts, and also a series of assignments that will be done. These assignments will have multiple choice questions sometimes, fill in the blank, and also calculations. It's important to know that in this class, we're going to cover the basics of epidemiology from a graduate perspective. We're going to move forward into understanding a little bit more about epidemiolo epidemiology historically, as well as morbidity, mortality, and a variety of different kinds of study designs that we can use in epidemiologic research. Throughout this course, we'll also be discussing epidemiologic calculations that occur in the different tests, as well as morbidity and mortality measures. It's important that you watch the lecture videos or attend the lectures and make sure to follow up on all the materials, including the PDFs and readings, because all of it is going to build towards the exams, homework assignments, and discussion posts. The calculations in this class are not extraordinarily difficult. A lot of people have a fear of math, but instead, one of the biggest challenges for most students is just figuring out what to put where. So really pay close attention when we discuss what goes in the numerator or the denominator of a lot of the different fractions that we'll be using throughout the semester. In the lectures, we'll talk about the different formulas. This will be enhanced and also reiterated in all of the PDFs as well as the assignments. I believe that most students will be extraordinarily successful in this class. And the reality is this is a wonderful practical class for a Masters of Public Health student. If you are interested in pursuing an MPH, one of the opportunities that you can potentially have outside of that is doing health-based research. Whether that be program evaluation, working on research teams, or leading your own research projects, epidemiology really gives you a good grasp of the different study designs as well as the calculations necessary in order to be a part of those research teams or even lead them. Throughout the class, we'll be working with a variety of different modalities, both through Canvas, through reading, and also through video via Zoom. I do encourage you to make sure you stay abreast on all the topics necessary for each week. Check the Canvas page regularly, and be sure if you have any questions, always know you can reach out. I wanna thank you and welcome you to the Health Science 587 epidemiology class for the Masters of Public Health student.